In this video, we're going to verify how the fundamental frequency of a stretch string varies with length. Our apparatus consists of a sonometer, which has a string, a fixed bridge, a movable bridge, which we'll use to adjust our length, a Newton balance to measure the tension of the wire, and a tension control key to adjust the tension. We'll also use a signal generator with leads and clips for the wire, a bar magnet, a meter stick to adjust the length of our string and safety glasses in case the string breaks. To investigate how the fundamental frequency varies with length, we need to use this formula. As you can see, F is proportional to one over L. So if we plot F versus one over L and apply a line of best fit, we should get a straight line that passes through the origin with a slope equal to a half root T over mu. Our first step will be to use the tension control key to adjust the tension of the wire. For this experiment, I'm going to choose 20 newtons for our tension value. Next, we have to set the length of our string. So for my first measurement, I would like the length to be 50 centimeters. So I'm placing the end of the meter stick on the fixed bridge, and I'm going to gradually move the movable bridge until I've got a string length of 50 centimeters from this point to this point. We can now include our bar magnet. This should be positioned in the middle of the two bridges at the anti-node of the standing wave. With the bar magnet in place, we can then connect our signal generator to our wire. Make sure to connect the clips on the outside of the bridges. On our frequency generator, I've set the frequency as low as possible, almost zero hertz. And I've set the voltage to be five volts peak to peak. We want to ensure that the voltage isn't too high so that our wire doesn't heat up. Then in our experiment, what we'll do is we'll slowly vary the frequency until the string begins to vibrate. So here's a close up of our experiment. I've included a paper rider on the string, so we'll know when the vibration is at a maximum. Now I'm going to slowly increase the frequency on the signal generator, and you can see that the string is beginning to vibrate. I'm increasing in steps of 0.1 hertz. So our maximum vibration was at 125.7 hertz. So here I've just included a piece of paper as a background between the, the poles of the magnet. And hopefully as I increase the frequency, you'll be able to see the anti-node of the standing wave. As you can probably hear, the vibration is reaching a maximum. And that's our standing wave. Once we've recorded our frequency, we can then turn off the signal generator. We can replace the paper rider. Turn down the frequency. and then slowly begin to increase it until we reach a maximum vibration again. We can then repeat this a few more times. Once we've taken all the measurements for a string length of 50 centimeters, we can then remove our magnet, disconnect the clips, and set a new string length. So my next measurements will be taken for a string length of 45 centimeters.
And then we replace the magnet in the middle between the two bridges. So this will be a slightly different position. We can reconnect our signal generator. Replace the paper writer. And start at a low frequency on, on our signal generator and gradually increase it until we reach maximum vibration for this new string length. Again, once we find it, I would decrease the frequency and find it again to get an average of about five measurements. Here we have the average frequency values and their corresponding lengths. Remember that we want to plot F versus one over L. So I've also calculated the one over L values. Now we can plot our data points. If we apply a line of best fit, we get a straight line that passes through the origin. So our straight line graph has verified that frequency is proportional to one over length. For more videos of experiments or for information about our course, please check out the physics and instrumentation playlist on the ATU YouTube channel. And please give our videos a like and we'll keep making them. Thanks.